Spicetify is a CLI tool that can customize your Spotify app. In this tutorial, I will show you how to install it and the basic features of it. So as you can see here, my Spotify client is a little darker and there's some other tiny little options here that add some extra functionality. It's very, very cool. I, I like it. I like it. I'm going to show you how to install it. So the first thing you are going to want to do is go to this GitHub page right here, Spicetify CLI. Under installation, you will find a whole bunch of different ways for you to install it on your specific operating system. On Windows and Linux and Mac OS, pretty much all of them, it is rather simple. You're going to want to copy this string of text right here, and then you're going to want to open up PowerShell. This is the Windows terminal application from Microsoft. You're going to want to paste this string right here. And what it's going to do is install it into your user directory. So we press enter, we let it install, and we're going to let it do its thing. So once that is done, I'm going to want to press uh, Spicetify into your terminal. And you will see, I'm going to actually close Spotify right now, that it is in your local directory, your user directory, not your local directory. Now, you're going to have a bunch of folders here, extensions, themes, a uh, backup of your Spotify, just in case you want to return to the stock vanilla Spotify. Now, depending on the way that you installed, you're going to want to, if you want some themes and extensions, you're going to want to go, um, let's just say for extensions, you're going to want to install all the extensions that you want and put them in your extensions folder. After that, you can go to your config any file and you can type in the extensions from here that you want to work with. So in this instance, I have uh, auto skip explicit, QAll, DJ mode, shuffle, trash bin, etc., etc. After that, you're going to want to save. Um, and then let's go ahead and look at some themes. So that's the Spicetify default theme. Of course, we can download our themes from over, let's see, over here in community themes. And then you can download the entire zip file and place it, all of these themes in this folder, into your themes folder. Now, the real meat and potatoes here is that we're going to type in Spicetify again. Then we're going to type in, and I want to make sure I get it right, we're going to type Spicetify config current theme. We're going to type in what theme we want to use. So since I'm already using black, we're going to go with out run dark. So Spicetify config current theme out run dark. Then we're going to go Spicetify color scheme out run dark. And if we did everything correctly, we will type in Spicetify apply. It will tell us if everything is okay. And then Spotify will look different. And we'll have our little things here. So yeah, there you have it. 
full list of resources will be in the description.